tutorial on how to create your own pleated mask. For this tutorial, you will need three pieces of fabric, one patterned and two white. You will need some wire or you can use a flattened out paper clip instead. Some fabric scissors, two elastics or two um, elastics of a different color. You can use white or black depending on what color your fabric is. You will need tape for the wire, um, a measuring tape or a ruler, as well as a clothing iron, and you will also need a sewing machine. Before I start sewing, I like to prepare some of my materials. I like to prepare the nose wire as well as the elastics. So you can buy these materials at your home hardware store. And what you want to do is cut about four inches of the wire to create the nose wire in the mask, as well as about five to six inches, depending on the fit for the elastic. As well, the wire will be quite sharp at the ends once you cut it, so we like to create a protective layer using scotch tape, but you can use other types of tape as you wish, just to make sure it doesn't poke through the mask or hurt you in any way. So for the pleated mask, you will need two pieces of fabric. One will be on the outside, the pattern fabric, and then on the inside, you will have your white or neutral fabric. We recommend using a cotton or a linen fabric for breathability, but it's really up to you depending on what kind of fabric you have and want to use. Uh, we will be creating a small size and the dimensions for that are approximately nine by eight inches, but you can find the correct sizing in the description. So you're gonna start by measuring out the size, cutting it out, and then moving on to the next step. So after this step, you will have two pieces of fabric. However, if you would like to optionally add an extra pocket, this can be used to insert a filter or some paper towel for an extra layer. Uh, we will be showing you how to create that in the next so step. You will, for this you step, will, you will just need to cut an extra piece of the neutral material, about six by seven inches, and we'll show you how to prepare it in the next step. The next step is to prepare the pocket. So to start, you have to fold over about a quarter inch section and sew that down. Start by folding over about a quarter inch on each side and ironing that down. Repeat that on the other side and on the bottom as well. So now we're going to be attaching the pocket to the inner side of the mask. So you're going to want to line that up about one and a quarter inches below the top of the mask inside fabric, as well as centering it in the middle of the fabric. And now you're going to sew down the sides as well as the bottom, leaving the top part open to allow you to insert anything into the pocket. So next you're going to be attaching the pattern side to the bottom side of the mask. In order to do this, you have to line up the pattern piece to the bottom piece and you're gonna wanna do that where the top part is where the pocket will be able to open up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna line them up and line them up face to face so the pattern side will be facing to the pocket side. Next, you're gonna sew them end to end. Now flip the pattern piece over so now it is facing you and sew down along the same line to create an extra sturdy top part for the mask. Now that you're done sewing that, you can flip it closed so the pattern will be on one side and the pocket side will be on the other. Now you can sew it down along the seam. Now you're going to sew a pocket for the nose wire to go into. Start first by measuring out where the pocket will be. It will be kind of in line with the pocket. Next, you will want to sew the pocket for the wire. 
And the next step will be to insert the wire into the pocket that you've created up until the end. So it should be right up until where you created it and sew it shut. Now you will have a nose wire. So now you're going to be attaching the elastics to the mask on the fabric side. So attach it to the top about a quarter inch below the top and on the bottom about half an inch at the bottom of the fabric by sewing it and do this on both sides. Next, flip the fabric over so that it is face-to-face, -face, fabric side to pocket side again. Start at the bottom attachment of the elastic, so over it once down. And then all the way down, making sure to go over both elastics. This will make sure that the elastics are attached well to the fabric of the mask. Repeat this on both sides again. and your elastics are attached. Now flip your mask inside out and you're going to wanna to flatten it out by running your fingers, a ruler or a pen inside the mask and making sure it's really flat. And then you're going to iron it to make sure that there are no wrinkles, both on the sides of the mask to make them really crisp, as well as the front and back of the mask as well. Next, you are going to fold in the excess fabric at the bottom and iron it down. This is what it should look like after you iron it and now you're ready to close and add the pleats. So first you're going to sew it at the bottom end to end to close the mask. And it's really up to you how many pleats you want to add and how thick they should be but in this demonstration we're going to show you how to add three pleats. So create the first pleat by folding the fabric from the top about an inch and fold the fabric under about a quarter to half of an inch and sew it down. Repeat these for the next two pleats on the same side. And when you repeat on the other side, make sure that it's balanced and it looks the same on both sides. That's very important to ensure balance. And you're done. This is what your mask will look like at the end. And you can cut off some additional pieces of string if there are any and you're ready to use it. Thank you for watching our video and enjoy your mask as well. Please see our description for step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete this mask and enjoy.